Nang we hook the yasha. First hook up from the head. The head is hooked with apricot color. First rib stitch. Eight short needles. A rib stitch is a thread that loops around the finger twice. Hold the line with this hand. Crochet through the circle. Hook a coil over here. Crochet and hook another coil. Finish the she coils. This is a loop stitch. Then we hook eight short needles. Short crochet thread. Go through the circle. Hook a coil over here. Now there are two coils on the crochet hole. Crochet and hook another coil. Finish these two coils. And that creates this V shape. It's just a short needle. We add the marker buckle. Second pin a hole. Third stitch. Always hook eight stitches. Eight after the hook is finished, we will tighten the circle. The way to cast the loop is to pull the thread first. See which of these circles is moving. This thread is moving. We'll just tighten this thread. As far as you can, it's not moving. When we're done, we'll pull this line too. Pull this until this line is finished. We'll cut this thread off when we're done. Each turn is to use a drawing pin to finish the circle. Now we take off the marker. Here's the pin that marks the buckle. Crochet through the stitch. Hook a coil over here. Just bring this coil over here. This is a drawing needle. You need to use a drop in every turn to finish the circle. Because this stitch is not a stitch. So we cut it down. So it becomes very small. The second circle is made up of eight pins. That's 16 stitches. Two other stitches to hook two short stitches into the same stitch. Hook 
Hope to show stitches here on the same stitch. We start each lap with a standing pin. Now let's hook a standing pin. Crochet needle. Bring a coil. Finish this coil. So this V shape is formed here. It's just a standing pin. And then we're here on the pin that we just pulled. Hook the first plus pin. Two other stitches to hook two short stitches into the same stitch. First stitch. The same pin goes through. Second pin a hole. Show form. It's just a plus pin. It's two short stitches in the same stitch. We put a marker button here on the first stitch. As the first stitch of the second turn. Then we hook the second plus pin. Add the third needle. Always hook eight plus pins. The second loop is alpha. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten this stitch. The third lap is made up of eight groups. One short stitch and one plus stitch. That's 24 shots in all. Now let's hook the first group. First hook a standing pin. Hook the first short needle in the place of the draw. Marking buckle. One plus pin. Two other stitches to hook two short stitches into the same stitch. That's the end of the first set. Then we hook the second group. A short needle. One plus pin. The second set of hook is alpha. Then there are six more groups. We'll hook it up together. The third loop is alpha. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten this stitch. The fourth lap is made up of eight groups. Two short stitches. One plus one. That's sensual stitches. Now let's hook the first group. First hook a standing pin. Hook the first short needle in the place of the draw. Marking buckle. Second pin. One plus pin. 
The first set of hook is alpha. Then hook the second set. Two short needles. One plus pin. The second set of hook is alpha. Then there are six more groups. We'll hook it up together. The fourth loop is alpha. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. The fifth lap is made up of eight groups, three short needles, a plus needle composition. That's a total of 40 stitches. Now let's hook the first group. First hook a standing pin. Hook the first short needle in the place of the draw. Marking buckle. Second pin. The third short pin. One plus pin. The first set of hook is alpha. Then hook the second set. Three short needles. One plus pin. The second set of hook is alpha. Then there are six more groups. We'll hook it up together. The fifth loop is alpha. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. Let 6 to 11 are the same. Is to hook a short needle at each corner of the needle. Each round is 40 stitches. We'll start with a standing pin. Hook the first short needle where the lead is drawn. Marking buckle. Second pin. The third short pin. The fourth short needle. This circle is full of short stitches. That's a total of 40 stitches. We followed this method until the 11th circle. Round 11 is alpha. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. Lap 12 is made up of 8 sets of 3 short pins and a reduction pin. That's Sanchez stitches. Let's hook a standing pin first. Now let's hook the first set. Three short stitches and one reduction. Hook the first short needle in the place of the draw. Marking buckle. Second pin. The third short stitch is a reduction stitch. Reducing stitches to pick the other half of the two needle eyes. It's the eye of a needle. We'll pick the outside half. Hook a coil over here. Finish these two other half stitches. Now there are two coils on the crochet hole. We'll hook another coil. 
finish these two coils. The resulting stitch is called a reduction stitch. That's the end of the first set. Then we hook the second group. Three short needles. One reducer. The second set of hook is alpha. Then there are six more groups. We'll hook it up together. Take off the marker on the 12th loop. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. We'll switch colors for lap 14. It's a short stitch for each stitch. That's San Shear stitches. Now let's change the wire. Fold this thread a little. Fold in half. It forms the circle. Crochet to bring this loop over here. Pull the original wire tight again. We don't have to hook a standing pin here. Now let's go straight to the first short needle. Hook the first short needle in the place of the draw. We can put this hidden thread here. So you can hide the wire. Marking buckle. Second pin. The third short pin. Because we're going to have to use this wire laser. So I don't cut it off and keep it. The fourth short needle. Use this color all around the circle to hook the short needle. We'll hook it up together. Round the shisan is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. The 14th lap is made up of eight groups. A short needle, a reduction stitch is composed. That's 16 stitches. Loop 14 is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. Lap 15 is made up of eight groups. A short needle, a plus needle composition. That's 24 shots in all. Now let's check the first group. Start with a standing pin. Hook another short pin. One plus pin. The 
the first set of hook is high fa, then hook the second set. A short needle. One plus pin. The second set of hook is high fa, then there are six more groups. We'll hook it up together. Loop 15 is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. Lab 16 is made up of eight groups. Two short needles, a plus needle composition. That's essential stitches. Start with a standing pin. Now check the first group. Two short needles. One plus pin. The first set of hook is alpha. Then hook the second set. Two short needles, one plus pin. The second set is finished. Then there are six more groups. We'll finish it together. Round the shiliu is over. Drop mark. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. Lab 17 to 25 are the same. First use the thread of this color to hook the tin short pins. Start with a standing pin. Hook the first short needle where the light is drawn. Marking buckle. Second pin. The third short pin. Always hook the thin short pins. This is the 13 needle. We'll switch on the 13 stage. Change the line right here. Leave enough line behind here. Jump pull this line. Then crochet directly. Bring it in a loop. This will complete the wire change. In train, we use this apricot colored thread to hook six short stitches. This is the sixth short pin. Let's start here. Switch back to the star khaki thread. Crochet hook a coil broad over. This will complete the wire change. Let's pull this color string tight again. And then we use this color line. Finish the remaining 13 short pins.
Loop shi qi is over. Remove the mug buckle at the mug buckle position. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. We did the same thing to lap 25. Take off the marker when the hook is finished on turn 17 to 5. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. Round 25 is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. Lap 26 is by. Use this color thread to hook 14 short stitches. Change the color of the thread and hook for short pins. Then switch back to this color and hook 14 short stitches. That's Sanshiar stitches. Let's draw first. We'll start with a standing pin. Hook the first short needle where the lead is drawn. Marking buckle. Second pin. The third short pin. Always hook 14 short pins. This is the 14 short pin. We'll start the wire change here. Then use the thread of this color to make for short stitches. This is needle number four. Let's switch back to the original color. Then use the thread of this color to hook 14 short stitches. Round 26 is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. And F. Drawing. Tighten the stitch in the circle. Or 27 laps. It's a line of this color. Hook a short needle at each corner. That's Sanshiar stitches. Start with a standing pin. In the first, hook the first short needle where the lead is drawn. Marking buckle. Second pin. The third short pin. These two circles are all short stitches. That's Sanshiar stitches. We'll finish it together. Loop 27 is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. Lab 28 is made up of a group. Two short needles. A reduction stitch is composed. That's 24 shots in all. Now let's check the first group. Start with a standing pin. 
Den hukte shorpind. One reducer. That'll finish the first set. Then take the second group. Two short needles. One reducer. The second set is finished. Then there are six more groups. We'll finish it together. Round 28 is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten this stitch. Lap 29 is made up of eight groups. A short needle. A reduction stitch is composed. That's 16 stitches. Now let's check the first group. Start with a standing pin. Hook a short needle where the light is drawn. Marking buckle. One reducer. That'll finish the first set. Then take the second group. A short needle. One reducer. The second set is finished. Then there are six more groups. We'll finish it together. Loop 29 is over. Remove the mug buckle at the mug buckle position. Pull to end the circle. Tighten this stitch. Lap 30 is made up of four groups. Two short needles. A reduction stitch is composed. That's 12 stitches. Now let's check the first group. Start with a standing pin. Two short needles. One reducer. The first set of hook is alpha. Then hook the second set to short needles. One reducer. The second set is finished. Then there are two more groups. We'll finish it together. Round 30 is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten this needle. Angle. Round 31 is to hook a short pin at each corner. That's 12 stitches. Start with a standing pin. Hook the first short needle where the light is drawn. Marking buckle. Second pin. Keep the short needle hook. That's 12 stitches. Lap 31 is over. 
Drop mark. Buckle in the position. Mark buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. Lap thirty two is made up of two short pins. Two adjacent pins consists of six short needles. That's six stitches. Start with a standing pin. Two short needles. Two adjacent pins. Six short needles. Round the thirty-two is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. Lap thirty-three is made up of a short pin. Two adjacent pins. Two short needles. Double injection. A short needle composition. That's six stitches. Start with a standing pin. Hook a short needle where the lead is drawn. Marking buckle. Two adjacent pins. Two short needles. Double injection. Two other stitches to hold two short stitches in the same corner. A short needle. That's the end of lap thirty-three. We can keep stuffing the cotton. Lap thirty-four is made up of a reduction pin, six short needles, a reduction stitches composed. That's eight stitches. Start with a standing pin. Hook a reducer. Marking buckle. Six short needles. One reducer. The hook is over on lap thirty-four. Remove marker buckle. 
Mark the location of the buckle, pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. We can keep stuffing more cotton in here. This tail part, we can hook it and stuff it with cotton. Lap 35. It's a reducia. To show a needles, double injection, a reduction stitches composed. That's eight stitches. Start with a standing pin. One reducia. We can use this hair if it's too tight. Take it off. Hook this hard stitch out. Half of the second stitch. Marking buckle. To show a needles. Double injection. One reducia. Lap 35 is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. After stuffing the padded cotton, let's do lap 36. Lap 36 is made up of a reduction pin for short stitches and one reduced stitch. There are six needles in total. Start with a standing pin. Hook a reducia. This stitch will be tied. We can loosen it up a bit. Marking buckle. For sure needles. One reducer. Lap 36 is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. Lap 37 is made up of a reduction pin. 2 plus and 1 minus. There are 6 needles in total. Start with a standing pin. Add another reducer. You can loosen this half stitch first.
Marking buckle. Double injection. One reducer. Round 37 is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. And F, drawing, tighten the stitch in the circle. We can go ahead and add a little more cotton. In this tail here. After stuffing the cotton, Let's hook round the same shiba. Thirty-eight turns are made up of a reduction pin. To short needles, a reduction stitch is composed. There are four needles in total. Start with a standing pin. Add another reducer. Marking buckle. To shore needles. One reducer. Round 38 is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. Leave some thread and wrap it in. We can go around the other half of this last circle. So it up so it'll make a nice closing. And then hide the thread. This completes the main part. Now let's hook the ears. Let's use this color line. The first loop is a loop stitch. Six short needles. The first short pin here with the marker buckle. Second stitch. The third needle. Needle four, needle five, needle six. 
Titan Discoil. Pull the thread in the hole. Cut off the wire ends. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten this stitch. The second lap is made up of three groups. A short needle, a plus needle composition. That's nine stitches. First hook a standing pin. Hook the first short needle in the place of the draw. Marking buckle. One plus pin. Two other stitches to hook two short stitches into the same stitch. The first set of hook is alpha. Then there are two more groups. We'll hook it up together. After the slip is done, we take off the marker. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. This is the end of the ear hook. We'll leave stitches. We're gonna hook another one. Now let's hook it up. Let's use this color line. First loop stitch. Six short needles. First stitch. Marking buckle. Second stitch, third stitch. Tightening coil. Cut off the wire ends. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten this stitch. Let's to do seven are the same. Is to hook a short needle on each stitch. Each round is six stitches. First hook a standing pin. Hook the first short needle in the place of the draw. Marking buckle. Second pin. Hook six short needles all the way. We'll hook this way to the seventh circle.
The seven rupees I fa. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. Thread two chain. We're gonna hook the other one. Now let's hook the fold with this color thread. Face up is the braid stitch up. Crochet through the thread in a turn. Form a coil on the crochet hook. Crochet hook a coil. Dove. Take it through this coil. Pull this wire tight again. This is the lock stitch. We hook five lock pins. A lock stitch is a crochet stitch wound in a circle. Take it through this coil. Show form. This V shape. It's just a lock pin. We add the marker buckle. There are five lock pins in total. Second, third, fourth, and fifth. Return to the second lock pin. Pick half a stitch here. First hook one and add a needle. To add the stitches to hook to show the needles into the same stitch. We put a marker button here on the first stitch. To show the needles. One plus pin. That's the first shot. Pick this half, the half stitch on this side of the needle. Hook a plus pin. That's the end of the hole. We turn around and hook this side. Pick these half stitches. It's the other half of the needle that's left to hold. We compress this thread bag. Convenient storage line. Now we pick this first stitch. Here. Other half stitch. First hook one and add a needle. To show needles. One plus pin. That's the end of the first loop. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten this stitch. Because this stitch is not a stitch.
The second lab is made up of two sides, two short stitches, and one reducing stitch consisting of two short stitches. That's six stitches. First hook a standing pin. Now let's hook the first set of two short needles. Hook the first short needle in the place of the draw. Marking buckle. Second pin. One reducer. To reduce the needle is to adjust the other half of the two needle eyes. Hook a coil. Finish these two and a half stitches. Now there are two coils on the crochet hook. Crochet with the second coil. Finish these two coils. This is a reducer. Then we hook to short needles. That's the end of the first set. Then we hook the second set of two short needles. One reducer. Two short needles. That's the end of the second loop. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. The third lab is made up of two sides. One reducer, one short needle, and one reducer. There are six needles in total. Now let's hook the first group. First hook a standing pin. Pick the outside half of the stitch. Pick the outside half of the next stitch. Hook a reducer. Marking buckle. A short needle. One reducer. That's the end of the first set. Then we hook the second set of a reducer. A short needle. One reducer. That's the end of the third loop. Press the marker button. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. The fourth round is to hook a short needle on each pin. There are six needles in total. First hook a standing pin. Hook the first short needle in the place of the draw. Marking buckle. Second pin. Third stitch. Hook six stitches all the way. Run for Zafa.
Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten this stitch. The fifth circle is three reduction pins. There are three stitches. Hook a standing pin. Pick the outside half of the stitch. Pick the outside half of the next stitch. Hook a reducer. Second reducer. The third reducer. The fifth will be alpha. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten this stitch. Thread suture. That's the end of one leg. We're gonna hook the other one. Now we'll hook the nose with the black thread. First hand needle. Hook the braid pins. Go back to the first braid stitch and pick half a stitch here. Hook a plus pin. Two other stitches to hook two short stitches into the same stitch. Pull and leave the wire. So the nose is complete. Now let's hook this little fish. Let's start with the line of this color. Let's hook the head part. First loop stitch. For short sure needles. This is a loop stitch. For short sure needles. First stitch. Marking buckle. The second needle. The third needle. The fourth needle. Tighten this coil. Cut off the bobbin. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten this stitch. The first lap is complete. The second lap is made up of two sets, a short needle, a plus needle composition. There are six needles in total. First hook a standing pin. Now let's hook the first group. Hook a short needle into the drawer. Marking buckle.
one plus pin. The first set of hook is alpha. Then hook the second set. A show a needle. One plus pin. That's the end of the second loop. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. We're gonna switch to the blue line for the third lap. Hook the thread in. Pull the zipper cut thread tight. This will complete the wire change. There's no need to hook a standing pin here. The third lap is made up of two sets. A short needle plus a short needle. That's eight stitches. Now let's hook the first group. Hook a short needle into the drawer. We can put these threads on a crochet hook. It hides you while you're at it. Marking buckle. One plus pin. To add stitches to hook to show needles into the same stitch. You can cut the thread. I show a needle. That's the end of the first set. Then hook the second set. I show a needle. One plus pin. A short needle. The third loop is alpha. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. The fourth to fifth lap are the same. Is to hook a short needle on each stitch. That's eight stitches. First hook a standing pin. Hook the first short needle in the place of the draw. Mark, buckle, second pin. These two circles are all short stitches. We'll hook it up together. The fifth rib is alpha. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten the stitch. The sixth lap is made up of two groups. One short needle, one reducing needle, and one short needle. There are six needles in total. Now let's hook the first group. First hook a standing pin. Hook a short needle into the drawer. 
Marking buckle. One reducer. Reducing stitches to just the outer half of the two stitches. Crochet hook coil. Finish these two and a half stitches. Now there's two on the crochet. A coil crochet hook with a coil. Finish these two coils. This is a reducer. A short needle. That's the end of the first set. Then hook the second set. A short needle. One reducer. A short needle. The sixth loop is over. Remove marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten this stitch. The seventh lap is made up of two sets. One short stitch and one reduced stitch. There are four needles in total. Now let's hook the first group. First hook a standing pin. Hook a short needle into the draw. Marking buckle. One reducer. The first set of hook is alpha. The second set of a short needle. One reducer. That's the end of the seventh lap. For round leg, we're switching to apricot ear hooks. We'll do it right here. Remove marker buckle. Switch and pull at the mark button position. I've tightened the old blue line. The eighth circle is after the fold. After I fold it in half here. Let's wait. The hook goes to these two symmetrical pins. It was for stitches. When we fold it in half, it becomes the stitches. Crochet to both stitches at the same time to hold. We're gonna hook two. Medium long needle we need to hook on each one. You ditch here. Three medium and long needles are hooked inside the same stitch. Now let's hook the standing pins. This standing needle is treated as a medium length needle. So here's the first stitch right there. All we need to do is hook to medium length needles. Make a rib of the crochet. Go through both of these symmetrical pins at the same time. So the two stitches are symmetrical. Hook a coil over here. Now there are three coils on the crochet hole. 
crochet and hook another coil. Take all three of these coils. The result is a medium length needle. Just start the hook with the two braid pins. Also add this a medium long needle. So here's the stitch. We just need to hook another medium length needle. Pull the thread up to where it once. The distance from the same horizontal line. Crochet winding. Take all three of these coils. So it's in the same stage. Three medium and long needles are done. And then we hook again. And the stitch here. Hook three medium and long needles into the same stitch. Face stitch. Second stitch. This line has to be drawn the same horizontal length. The third needle is drawn. If this fish is to be sewn with thread, subject speech will leave a line if you use viscose. We don't have to leave too much line. Then hide the thread. That's the end of the hook. Let's use the black thread. She put it in two. Only two shears. Figure. Mouth. Embroider V shape on the fish head. So the fish is finished. Now we hook the shells with the blue thread. A shell is made of two pieces. Leave a long line on one side. Leave a line on one side. Now we've hooked a piece. Let's hook another piece. Loop stitch. 
for short stitches. Face stitch. Marking buckle. Second stitch. Third stitch. The fourth needle. Tightening coil. Cut the Y end. Pull off the marker buckle. Mark the location of the buckle. Pull to end the circle. Tighten this stitch. The second round is three extra pins. To add stitches to hook two short stitches into the same stitch. We have for sure pins on the first lap. But in the second circle we leave one stitch and hook. Show it's three hook and a needle. First hook a standing pin. Hook the first needle on the draw. Marking buckle. Pin on the first stitch. Second edition. Add the third needle. That completes the second lap. This is open and close. It's not drawn. The second circle forms six short pins. Then we hook a standing pin. And then flip it over. The drip of hook. The third loop is to hook a short needle on each pin. There are six needles in total. Face stitch. Second stitch. Sick after the hook is done, wait. Hook a lock pin. This is where we want to leave the line. There's no thread left on that one. And then we take these two. Back fold. Here's the back fold in half. I want you to hook the symmetrical place. Six short needles. We lined up the two pieces. Crochet needle. Pass through two symmetrical stitches at the same time. Hook short needle. This is the first short stitch. 
Second pin. There are six short needles in total. After six short hook, we leave a line. Disconnection. Re needle. Sew the remaining two sides together. Asymmetrical stitching of one stitch to one stitch. When there's a tiny opening left, let's put in a little padding carbon. Let's put in a little padding carbon. And so the side up again. We'll hide the thread when we're done. The shell is now complete. Now let's assemble this archa. First the years are between the fourth and sixth laps. It's on both sides. We can draw the middle line first. The eyes are above lap 6 through 7. There are 8 stitches between the two eyes in the middle. The nose is above lap 7 through 8. Right in the middle. The hands are in lap 17 through 19. Three sides. The corner is above the 27 circle. Angle we can refer to stitching this little piece of ground. These places will give him a more three-dimensional sense of movement. The spacing between the two corners is two pins. Now we're going to start stitching. Now let's sew the ears. Set up the position first.
after filling. Tibetan lined. Cut off the thread. Now here. The now is triangular. Here, we can tie this thread and tie it together. Put the string in. Following stitch. To keep this hand from sticking out, so we can put two stitches in here. Fake yet. This depends on the effect you want. Then hide the line. Following stage. The feet we just need to sew. Once we've got it positioned and oriented. Show this line here. And then draw the same thing with the hand. We keep it from going out. We can redirect it. One more stitch here.
fish and shells. We can use fish gauge. You can also sort the hand with thread. Now let's go with the eyes. Cut the tape to a sharp point. So you don't get too much glue. Then heat up. Let it melt. Don't touch too much. This completes the eye. Now let's use a black line to put a mouth on the shiata. Connect this right below. There's no gap in the middle here. Two lines apart. Just add a vertical bar. Long whole line. And then we're going to draw the strands out with a black thread. All we need is two strands. Give him eyebrows and a beard. Add eyebrows above the eyes. Add a beard. Same thing here. Now we add blush to him. And that's it. We can add fish to it. Boy. 
Seychelles. Today we're going to hook this other. We can also replace this fish with a shell.